Hey everyone, welcome to Table Talk. I'm here with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Jay Combs. Oh the, snap. Yeah, the <laughs> broker here at our home of EXP. You know, he, he puts a lot of videos out and a lot of information to help folks, but I want to ask him and uh, show you all what is your hobbies? What do you like to do other than selling, helping people, making money, and saving the world? What else do you like to do for fun? Uh, so this is being recorded? Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> No man, so I, I'm I'm very I'm very fortunate to love what I do. I really I really am. Um, when I come into work every day, it, it, there, it's not a work thing for me because I really truly enjoy what I do every single day. And I know you know some people you know it's cliche whatever. I love working. I love it. Um, my team knows it. My wife knows it. My family knows it. Like you know, for me to come in on a Sunday morning and you know figure out a problem is is you know i mean it makes me happy like i literally just one minute ago i was going out and digging into our crm and finding gaps in the system and i was like well it just got me fired up i was ready to go outside of that though i mean i've got a little little boy a little nine nine month old awesome kid his name's carson he's way cool um honestly he preoccupies a lot of my time i fly so i just got my pilot's license i fly a lot um Actually, I'm getting a plane in like three days, so that's pretty cool. Awesome. Um, uh, I like to work out. Like to shoot, you know, some basketball. Like watching UT sports. I'm a big ball fan. Go Vols! The number one in the nation, baby, baseball. So hopefully, you know, football. We can get there one day. We'll get there. But man, I'm a simple guy, dude. I really am. So one of my buddies in Nevada, we're very comparable. We're like we're, we both like enjoy the work part, and so it's not really work if you're if you're you know enjoying it. I'm passionate about getting people to where they want to be. I come from very humble beginnings, and you know, I mean, one of my goals one day is to have my my name on on a big skyscraper. You know what I mean? And and, and for and, and that sounds maybe egotistical or whatever but the only reason i'm gonna get there is if i helped a lot of people accomplish some really cool goals and i just you know i want to leave a legacy for you know my kids and grandkids and all that stuff that's awesome and i think you will get there um how are we going to get to that though what is the one thing with joining our team why to grow this business we need you know more agents more success more helping what is the um, formula for that and how and why should people come to our home and be a part of this team? Yeah, so people look at this competition as a bad thing. Competition is a good thing, right? If there wasn't competition, the world wouldn't be in the position that we are. If there wasn't competition, there wouldn't be other companies that were creating more pressure and urgency on other people. And so, like, the other day I announced to my team that I want to grow double our size in six months. I saw a couple of them freak out. Like, Holy shit. They want to grow, you know what I mean? But the reality is, is we have a fiduciary responsibility. I've got a moral obligation to help as many families get in the best situation possible. I go out and I had a problem, right? I got in the real estate business. I had zero direction. I didn't have any framework. I had the work ethic, but I didn't have the ability to go out and get what I wanted to do. And I was like, I said, give me structure, give me the blueprint, give me structure, give me the blueprint. And everyone looked at me like I, like I had a chicken, you know, like a chicken with their head cut off. I said, listen, just tell me what I need to do every single day to get where I want to be. And now that's all I do every single day is I simplify it and I'm like, listen, if you do X, Y, and Z, you will get, you know, the results that you want. If you do X and Y, you may get, you know, two thirds of those results. Uh, the reality is, is I've taken it, I'm, I, I didn't know real estate, right? I don't come from a background. I don't have family members that are in real estate. I learned it from the grassroots as it gets. I learned in all my problems, I went out and I just dissected, I wrote them down and I was like, okay, hey, how do I fix those problems? Well, here's the reality. Every new agent has the same problem. Yes. They don't, they need business, right? And they need to know the how, right? And they need to know what they need to do every single day. And here at our home, that's all we train people to do. Literally, that's all we do. We are a training company that is, just so happens to sell a shitload of real estate. 
you know what I mean? That, that's what we've what we've evolved. And, and, it, and it's the same thing with mortgage. It's the same thing with construction. It's all the same. You know, you take the problem, you find out what the solution is, you document it, and you rinse and repeat. You know, so if you're in a situation where you're you're not where you want to be, man, there's so many people that will let ego get in their way of greatness because they're afraid to ask or they're like, oh, hey, I'll get judged. You know, like if I if I cared about what people said about me or judged me or whatever, fuck, man, I, I excuse my French, but I would probably be in the same spot. Right. But I was like, listen, I'm going to go out and I'm going to I'm going to make a splash. I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to rip off. I'm going to duplicate like, you know, and, and, and it's not it's not new. You know, I just found out what worked for me and I simplified it. Complexity is the enemy of production, right? And duplication. And so I try to make it simple, man. You you wanna you wanna go out and sell 10 homes? Cool. You make X amount of calls, you set X amount of appointments, you meet with you know a percentage of those. Out of those appointments that you set, you're gonna you know you're gonna work with X amount of those, you're gonna write this amount of contracts, X amount of those are gonna get accepted, some of those are gonna fall through, and this is your end result. Well, obviously, the process works. <laughs> you see how fired up he gets. He's passionate about yeah, real estate. Yeah. But the process works because we are the number one EXP team in the state of Tennessee. And before you two know it... Two years in a row. Two years in a row. So, process works. Uh, got a great team. As you can see, the leader, you, your company follows the leader. And our leader is absolutely passionate and dedicated to this team. The cool thing about it is it's not even me, right? Like I'm not I'm not in, in front of the, the sales team every day. I'm not in front of the new hires every day. I'm, I'm, I'm more behind the scenes than I've ever been. Honestly, it makes me like freak out sometimes because I'm, I'm not used to it. Um, but like now every minute of every day as I try to go out and fix problems for the agents, right? Like when, when it all, when the dust hits the, when, when the dust hits the pavement, right, you're going to figure out there. It's it's not it's not complex. You figure out how to go out and get the business, and you you make sure everyone's having a good experience, and the people come back and do repeat business with you. It's the same thing with real estate agents. That's why we grow so much. That's why you know y'all have got 40 people. I mean, we've got 40 people in their pipeline of people that are getting. It. But the reality is, is like, look, once we hit our our, our number of agents, then we're gonna you know. Uh, open up another market or you know do something else and so that's our our commitment is we don't add agents to add agents we want to add agents to ultimately get where they want to be and i'll tell you this we you can have all the systems all the training and everything like that the reality is is if you don't do the work you're not going to be where you want to be and um you know so for us it's like we realize that and so we'll bring on people and some people work some people won't you know, the reality is, is anyone watching this, it's your work ethic that's going to get you to where you want to be. And if you're willing to put in the work and you're willing to be coachable, dude, the sky's the limit. But this is the last thing I've got, and you can interrogate me, but you're asking me that question. If you do not have a game plan in 2022, this is a big, a big must. If you do not have a game plan and you're going to be reactive versus proactive, you are going to hurt. You're going to hurt mentally, emotionally, and financially without a game plan in 2022 because it's about to be hard. It's going to be a tough market. There's not the laydowns that we've got for the last two years. So that's my two cents. Well, Jay, thank you for coming to Table Talk. Table your, Talk, baby. I love it. Your inside is great. We appreciate your time. Yeah, bro. If you uh, want to become a part of this team, go to joinoh865.com. Please like, please share this video, and thank you for taking the time to watch. Thank you for coming, Jay. See you guys.